Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most benevolent and most merciful. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon each and every one of you present here today. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Muhammadiyah Islamic College's seventh convocation ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, the seeking of knowledge is obligatory for every Muslim. And it is by this belief that we are gathered here today to witness and celebrate the seekers of knowledge, our graduates who have come a long way in their journey towards greatness. It is an honor for me, Hafiz Jabbar, a current student here myself, to lead as MC of this significant event. Without further ado, allow me to begin. The room welcomes the presence of the respected Ustaz Muhammad Azri bin Azman, President of Muhammadiyah Association, come Chairman of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Honorable Dr. H. Eka Putra Wirman, Rector of University of Islam Negeri Imam Bonjol, West Sumatra, Honorable Professor Hussein Mutalib, Academic Advisor of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Honorable Mr. Sazali bin Abdul Wahid, Director of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Honorable Dr. Saifuddin Amin, Dean of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, members of the association, graduates, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to this to MIC's seventh convocation. And now let us together welcome the presence of our esteemed guest of honor, Mufti of Republic of Singapore, the Honorable Sahibul Samaha, Dr. Naziruddin bin Muhammad Nasir. Our pleasure to have you, Mufti. Welcome. Let us now proceed with the segment of our event, which is a Quranic recitation opening by our current full-time certificate one Arabic student, Brother Hamza, to recite verse 15 to 28 from Surah Fatih. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس أنتم الفقراء إلى الله والله هو الغني الحميد إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتي بخلق جديد وما ذلك على الله بعزيز ولا تزر وازرة وزر أخرى وَإِن تَدْعُ مُثْقَلَةٌ إِلَى حِمْلِهَا لَا يُحْمَلْ مِنْهُ شَيْءٌ وَلَوْ كَانَ ذَا قُرْبَى إِنَّمَا تُنذِرُ الَّذِينَ يَخْشَوْنَ رَبَّهُمْ بِالْغَيْبِ وَأَقَامُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَمَنْ تَزَكَّى فَإِنَّمَا يَتَزَكَّى لِنَفْسِهِ وَإِلَى اللَّهِ الْمَصِيرِ وَمَا يَسْتَوِي الْأَعْمَى وَالْبَصِيرِ وَلَا الظُّلُمَاتُ وَلَا النُّورِ ولا الظل ولا الحرور وما يستوي الأحياء ولا الأموات إن الله يسمع من يشاء وما أنت بمسمع من في القبور إن أنت إلا نذير 
إنا أرسلناك بالحق بشيرا ونذيرا وإن من أمة إلا خلا فيها نذير وإن يكذبوك فقد كذب الذين من قبلهم جاءتهم رسلهم بالبينات وبالزبر وبالكتاب المنير ثم أخذت الذين كفروا فكيف كان نكير ألم تر أن الله أن من السماء ماء فأخرجنا به ثمرات مختلفا ألوانها ومن الجبال جدد بيض وحمر مختلف ألوانها وغرابي بسود ومن الناس والدواب والأنعام مختلف ألوانه كذلك إنما يخشى الله من عباده العلماء إن الله عزيز غفور السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Thank you Brother Hamza May we benefit from your captivating recitation. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammadiyah Islamic College regards our convocation as a ceremony to celebrate the success of our students and to encourage them to continue forth in seeking success in their future, especially in the academic field. It is a time for them to form memories and it is with hope that through this celebration of their success, it would act as a torch of enthusiasm for them to continue in the seeking of knowledge throughout their lives. It is our hope that students will become asatiza, armed with the proper religious know-how to guide the community and become skilled teachers in imparting knowledge of Arabic and the Deen in Singapore. It is also hoped that they can continue to devote themselves in the giving of service to the nation and country upon graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, we would now like to continue with the event proper by inviting the Honorable Academic Advisor of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Professor Hussein Mutalib, to deliver his welcoming speech. With respect, Professor Hussein, please. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera kepada semua. First and foremost, I must express my deepest gratitude to the one and only Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Allahu samad lam yalid wa lam yulad wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. Only through His grace, mercy and permission, the seventh Muhammadiyah Islamic College Convocation Ceremony 2021 is happening today. MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah. For graduates, if you haven't done so, uh, please find some time to sujud syukur to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many thanks and sincere appreciation to all the staff of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, MIC or KIM, for your painstaking effort in organizing this convocation. In spite of, we all know, the logistical challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. To all graduates, Tahnia, Mabruk al Takharuj, congratulations for successfully completing your studies and deservedly uh, will soon be awarded certification scrolls in your respective fields. You certainly deserve to celebrate 
and to be fitted because this historic moment is the result of your hard work and sacrifice. And today, you are reaping the harvest of your long years of labor. For some, two years. For others, four years. Your scroll, either certificate, diploma, or degree, is in fact also your ticket. And mind you, this ticket is paid ticket and not complimentary ticket to enter into a new phase of your life. Now that you are a graduate, your amana is to show to others that there are qualitative changes happening to you after completing your studies. Of course, expressing congratulations to you will certainly be incomplete if we do not openly acknowledge and declare our thanks to your family, your wife, your husband, your parents, your children. You certainly know how they have supported your quest for knowledge and how they have patiently tolerated all the difficulties that you burdened them in the course of your study. And of course, not forgetting others who, in their own ways, have always dua for you and dua for your success. On behalf of the MIC board, you may wish to know that we at MIC have strengthened and empowered the Islamic education system that are offered to all students. Uh, this is in line with the development and trends of Islamic education today. New curriculums have been introduced. New MOUs with better universities have been signed. And more resources and facilities are being considered. The goal is not only to enable students to have a holistic education beyond the normal academic requirements, but also to help them to gain experience and life skills that will benefit them either in their jobs or in their future struggles and endeavors going through the vicissitudes of life. At this juncture, uh, let me ask you to pause for a while to reflect on the raison d'etre, the tujuan, the matlamat of education in Islam. For sure, Islam commands us men and women to seek knowledge. We all know this. And in support of this injunction, we often hear people mentioning the first revelation in Surah Al-Alaq, which begins with Iqra, read. This reference is, of course, acceptable, but let us not forget that Iqra is immediately connected and followed by Bismi Rabbika, read in the name of your Lord. Therefore, the demand to acquire knowledge is not merely knowledge for its own sake or knowledge for any other reason, but knowledge that is in line and in tandem with the will and the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other words, from the Islamic perspective, whatever knowledge that we pursue, the intention or niyat must be to use the acquired knowledge to be men and women of Iman, of Taqwa. Hence, Muslim graduates will utilize their knowledge and education to help them become God-abiding, Sharia-compliant individuals. Additionally, you must demonstrate this characteristic through your daily akhlaq and adab, your behavior, your character. And if you can do this, the quality and worth of your certificate or degree or diploma will be more meaningful and importantly, blessed with all the barakah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Approach from this perspective and mindset, your graduation today will then usher a good beginning for you to contribute to others, to your family, your society, your country. And once again, sincere congratulations to all of you from all of us in MIC 
and in Muhammadiyah as a whole. Dawahum fiha, subhanakallahumma wa tahiyyatuhum fiha salam. Wa akhiri, dawahum an alhamdulillah, fa rabbil alameen. Thank you, Professor Hussein Mutalib. We are now pleased to welcome our distinguished guest of honor, the Honorable Sahibu Samaha, Dr. Naziruddin bin Muhammad Nasir, Mufti of Republic of Singapore, to deliver his speech. Mufti, please. Uh, thank you very much for the kind introduction. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursaleen Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Subhanak, Subhanaka la ilmalana illa ma'allamtana innaka antal alimul hakim Rabbi shrah li sadri wa yassir li amri wa hlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli amma bah Dr. H. A. Kaputra Wirman Rector of Institute Agama Islam Negeri Padang, Fadil Ustaz Muhammad Azri bin Azman, President of Muhammadiyah Association and Chairman of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Board of Directors and Faculty Members, Advisors of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Graduates and Family Members, Ikhwa wal Akhawat, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. A very good and blessed Zulhijjah morning to everyone. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. All praises be to the Almighty Allah and the most compassionate, whose rahmah and divine mercy and his wisdom have brought us together this joyous morning in good health and spirit to celebrate the graduation of students of the Muhammadiyah Islamic College. I am indeed very honored and pleased to be invited to witness this event but also to say a few words of encouragement to graduates and their families present here with us this morning. It is a bit unfortunate that we are not able to meet physically, but as the Arabic saying goes, ma la yudraku kullu, la yudraku jullu, that which cannot be accomplished in full shall not be completely abandoned. So we have this virtual event, equally blessed, equally meaningful, inshallah. This event is important to me personally because like many of you, I deeply value and appreciate knowledge, al-ilm. The journey of learning and understanding is one of our greatest blessings as humankind. This life that Allah has granted us is indeed very fascinating. We are born with the basic tools to help us survive, not only in the biological and material sense, but emotionally and spiritually. But to survive and thrive, we need knowledge and understanding to use these tools effectively so that we can comprehend well ourselves, our environment, our tradition, our values. We need to truly understand who we are, where we are now, and where we go next from here. Brothers and sisters, these are big questions and a meaningful life is one where we have explored these questions and discovered some answers that bring us confidence and comfort. It is a journey of a lifetime, but we must start somewhere. So on this note, I wish to congratulate all 188 graduates after your successful completion of an important milestone in your quest to learn and understand our Islamic tradition and values. Many of you together with your professors and teachers have made important sacrifices to get to where you are now. Indeed, there is no learning without pain and sacrifice. As Imam Ashafi'i rahimahullah beautifully laid out the path to knowledge, what is known as the sudasiyah to tahsil al-ilm. We need zaka'un wa hirsun wa ishtihad wa bulgatun wa suhbatu ustazin wa tulu zamani. Intelligence, eagerness, hard work or diligence, means of sustenance, to be with a teacher and time. 
Dear graduates, this milestone also means you are now better prepared to achieve greater things in life, as Professor Hussein Motalib mentioned earlier. You can further pursue your dreams. But in whichever capacity, you have become an important source of positive change and benefit to those around you, the community and society. Remember the prayer and statement of Nabi Shu'aib alayhi wa ala nabiyyina salatu wa salam in uridu illa al-islaha ma stata'tu wa ma tawfiqi illa billah alayhi tawakkaltu wa ilayhi unib I only want to reform al-islah to improve to the best of my ability my success comes only through Allah in him I trust and to him I turn this is even more critical in times of crisis, such as today. In the recent E or virtual Hari Raya with Asatiza, I highlighted three important attributes as Asatiza and community leaders in guiding the community in difficult times and in exercising our moral leadership. Integrity, courage, and empathy. Integrity, courage, and empathy. To be trusted and respected leaders, we must have the highest levels of integrity at all times. And integrity is also about authenticity, what is hidden deep in our hearts. A leader must also have the moral courage and fortitude to make difficult but effective decisions. And a leader must have an acute sense of empathy, ihsan. So for us to be strongly connected to the community, to those we want to serve, we have to be able to feel their pain, their worries, their fears, and their anxieties. As we all have seen, increasingly religious leaders play an extremely important role. We have seen how they have either helped save or risk lives in the pandemic. By dismissing the severity of the virus, or peddling conspiracy theories. We saw how the virus spread viciously in religious gatherings around the world. But we have also seen how religious leadership can guide the community to exercise social responsibility and to keep everyone safe. Leaders, including religious leaders, make difficult and sometimes even unpopular decisions. And some of these will be met with criticism and skepticism. But we will be judged by the outcomes, not today, but tomorrow. Alhamdulillah, in our local context in Singapore, we have had so far, alhamdulillah, no Hari Raya or no most COVID-19 clusters. In other words, the virus that transmitted aggressively because of Hari Raya because of our gathering in the mosque. This did not happen. And we pray that this will continue to be the case. Now looking ahead, our lived realities will continue to present difficult challenges, which call for creativity in preserving our faith. We cannot be ambivalent or indifferent in facing this challenge. We must be bold to proffer our own solutions by drawing on the diverse and complex traditions of Islam. This is the realm of creativity or ishtihad that our religion calls for. I'd like to share with you at Muiz, we believe this is the next phase of our work in guiding the community. We have faith in our community's ability to achieve greater things, especially in forging a model where religion, in our case, Islam, is a positive and constructive influence on social harmony and cohesion, on nation building and active citizenry. This is indeed a, a huge challenge because it will require a lot of critical thought as we face new and difficult questions. To begin this journey, we have started a series of seminars leading to the International Conference on Communities of Success, hopefully sometime next year, and I certainly look forward to hear your voices, all of you, 
in this important conversation on the future of Islam in our context. For our Asatiza, and I'm sure many of you here this morning with your graduation, would be very keen to contribute as Asatiza. We take lifelong learning very seriously and we are investing a lot to ensure that Asatiza have ample opportunities to develop themselves through the various continuing professional education or CPE courses. Recently, Muiz has even launched the Postgraduate Certificate in Islam and Contemporary Societies, or in short, PCICS, to help returning and all fresh graduates who qualify for the Asatiza Recognition Scheme, or the ARS, to better understand and appreciate the social, political, and economic context of home here in Singapore. Because the more we understand our environment, the more effective our da'wah and efforts will be to help our society. We understand not only through theory, not only in the classroom, but more importantly, through practice. I strongly encourage you to build bonds and friend of friendships with others who are also working to strengthen the common good in our multi-religious and diverse society. The more we understand, the deeper our knowledge, the more our values and akhlaq will strengthen, especially in engaging in differences and diversity in human society, which is Allah's sunnah of creation, sunnah al khalq. And as our spirituality deepens and becomes more profound, we become less exclusive, which means we do not push people away, but we find ways to strengthen our bonds and iron out our differences. Because this is the way of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and his da'wah. And Allah explains the relationship between good and evil between Hassana and Sayyia in Surah Fusilat, verses 34-35. In Singapore, Islamic education centers and providers, such as Muhammadiyah Islamic College, play an important role in providing a holistic and contextual education. And this is all the more important when society today is easily exposed to unhealthy online influences. I am very confident that Muhammadiyah Islamic College will continue to strengthen and update its curriculum to address these new challenges and to produce graduates, whether at the certificate, the diploma or the degree level, who are well-trained and confident to both guide and guard the community against the increasing misinformation and misguidance on Islam, on religion. I would also like to take this opportunity to congratulate the faculty and staff of the college who have worked very hard, who have been resilient, who have made adjustments to ensure that learning continues even during the pandemic. I wish to see the college succeeding further and be synonymous with a quality provider of Islamic education at the highest levels, fit for a complex and modern world that we live in. I reserve my final comments for the families of the graduates. I wish to congratulate all of you for your sacrifices and unrelenting support to ensure that your family succeeds in achieving their dreams. I remember personally how my family especially my wife and son who were with me overseas, helped me complete my PhD program. Simply put, I would not have been able to graduate without their presence, their support, and their love. And when we succeed, it is usually because our loved ones really want us to. I'm sure many of you share a similar story. They are very thankful for your support and they will never forget your sacrifices. Finally, I wish to extend, extend my deepest appreciation to the leadership of the Muhammadiyah Association. 
I understand former president Ustaz Sheikh Hussein is also with us this morning. And also Ustaz Muhammad Azri, current president for the trust, support and partnership with MUIS and for the Muhammadiyah Islamic College in working with the ARS during the registration process, as well as in keeping with the code of ethics where the curriculum is concerned. I look forward to working more closely together, inshallah, and I wish you and every one of you all the best in your future undertakings. Thank you for this opportunity. Warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Our highest appreciation to our distinguished guests of honor for the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move to the main event, we would like to invite the Honorable Director of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Mr. Sazali Abdul Wahid, to the platform to proclaim the Memorandum of Understanding or MOU between Muhammadiyah Islamic College and University Muhammadiyah Malang. Mr. Director, please. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Meskipun pandemi COVID-19 belum berakhir dan masih berterusan, namun kolaborasi dan kerjasama antara institusi pendidikan tinggi tidak boleh diberhentikan. Hal itulah yang dilakukan oleh Muhammadiyah Islamic College atau College Islam Singapura dengan Universitas Muhammadiyah Malang, Indonesia. Kerjasama dan kolaborasi keduanya diwujudkan dengan melakukan memorandum, memorandum of Understanding. Dilakukan melalui Zoom, MOU yang berlangsung pada Isnin tarikh 28 Jun yang baru lepas ini dihadiri langsung oleh pimpinan dari kedua pihak. Dari pihak MIC, Ustaz Muhammad Azri bin Muhammad Azman sebagai pengurusi lembaga pengarah KIM sekaligus Presiden Muhammadiyah Singapura, juga dihadiri oleh Puan Rozana Salim sebagai setia usaha umum Persatuan Muhammadiyah beserta seluruh staf KIM ikut hadir dalam penandatanganan tersebut. Sementara dari pihak UMM, dihadiri oleh staf dan pencarah dari Fakultas Agama Islam yang diketuai oleh Prof. Dr. Tobroni. Dalam sambutannya, Ustaz Muhammad Azri bin Azman sangat menghargai usaha kerjasama dan berharap Kim dapat belajar banyak daripada UMM sebagai salah satu institusi terbaik di Indonesia. Sementara itu, Prof. Dr. Tobroni menyatakan bahawa UMM di tahun ini telah dipilih sebagai universitas terbaik Islam di dunia versi Unirank. Beliau berharap dengan kerjasama ini, MIC dan UMM dapat menjadi obor umat di Singapura maupun Indonesia dalam menuntut ilmu. Tujuan utama dari MOU ini adalah mengenalkan MIC sebagai salah satu institusi yang telah diiktiraf oleh Kementerian Pendidikan Singapura dan juga oleh Majlis Ugama Islam Singapura ke negara-negara ASEAN untuk menjamin mutu pendidikan di MIC dan juga memberi kesempatan kepada pelajar dari kedua-dua institusi untuk untuk memperluas wawasan keilmuan. Sebagai langkah awal dari MOU ini, bermula di bulan Ogos akan datang ini, MIC akan memperkenalkan jurusan baru di MIC iaitu jurusan hukum keluarga atau yang biasa dikenali sebab dengan istilah Family Law Faculty. Jurusan yang baru ini akan menawarkan kelas degree yang ditawarkan selama 4 tahun. Jurusan ini diharapkan menjadi salah satu jurusan unggulan di Muhammadiyah Islamic College. 
Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Terima kasih. Dengan demikian telah sah penanda tanganan kerjasama antara Muhammadiyah Islamic College Singapura dengan University Muhammadiyah Malang Indonesia. Kami lihat kerjasama ini hanya akan berikan kemanfaatan buat kita bersama, buat Singapura, buat Indonesia, dan juga buat masyarakat majmuk di dunia. Dan kami mengharap juga tunjuk ajar daripada teman-teman, daripada PMM supaya kita dapat memenuhi kapasitas ataupun potensi sebenar umat Islam di merata dunia dan lahirkan aspirasi dan menjadikan aspirasi yang kami harapkan ini menjadi satu kenyataan. Insya Allah kerjasama ini akan berjalan dengan lancar dan akan menghasilkan hasil sebagaimana yang kita harapkan. Thank you, Mr. Director. We would like to take a moment to acknowledge the presence of Ustaz Sheikh Hussein bin Sheikh Yaakob, the founder of MIC. Welcome, Ustaz. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now continue with the most anticipated segment of the event, which is the awarding of certificates to the graduates of class 2019, 2020, and 2021. We are pleased to invite Dean of College, Dr. Saifuddin Amin, and Ustaz Sheikh Huzaifa to read the decision letter. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Surat Keputusan Jawatan Kuasa Pentadbir Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah Nombor PP Garis Miring MIC Garis Miring 0021 Garis Miring 0239 Berkenaan Graduan Program Sijil Diploma dan Sarjana Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah Tahun Akademik 2019-2021 Jawatan Kuasa Pentadbir Sekolah Islam Muhammadiyah mengisytiharkan A. Bahawa mahasiswa setelah tamat kursus pengajian yang diluluskan dan setelah memenuhi apa-apa kehendak lain yang ditetapkan oleh kaedah-kaedah dan dengan persetujuan Jawatan Kuasa Pentadbir Sekolah Islam Muhammadiyah diperkenankan menerima ijazah yang dinyatakan oleh Sekolah Islam Muhammadiyah. B. Berhubung dengan perkara tersebut maka perlu untuk ditetapkan dan diselarikan dengan apa yang terkandung di dalam surat keputusan jawatan kuasa pentadbir Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah mengingatkan satu peraturan Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah bab yang keempat dua surat keputusan pengurusi jawatan kuasa pentadbir Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah dengan nombor PP garis miring MIC garis miring 0021 garis miring 0239 Tiga, rapat jawatan kuasa pentadbir Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah pada tarikh 15 Juni Jun 2021 memutuskan dan menetapkan pertama menyatakan kelulusan sejumlah mahasiswa bagi program sijil diploma dan sarjana muda seperti yang tersebut dalam surat lampiran keputusan ini kedua Nomor urutan, nama mahasiswa, identiti mahasiswa, dan predikat kelulusan yang disebut pada butir pertama seperti yang terdapat dalam lampiran surat keputusan ini. Ketiga, surat keputusan ini berkuat kuasa sejak tarikh yang ditetapkan dengan ketentuan jika terdapat sebarang kekeliruan dalam penetapan ini di kemudian hari, maka akan diperbaiki dan diperbetulkan dengan sewajarnya. Ditetapkan di Singapura pada tarikh 18 Julai 2021 oleh Muhammad Azri bin Azman, pengurusi jawatan kuasa pentadbit Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah. Demikian, selanjutnya kami berikan kepada Ustaz Syekh Lepa Syekh Hussein. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Sekarang ini kami akan mengumumkan nama-nama graduan. Yang pertama, nama-nama graduan dari program sarjana. 
Berikut adalah nama-nama graduan serta jurusan mereka yang dimaksudkan. Program Sarjana UTM MIC. PH Majid, Sarjana Falsafah. Muhammad Islahuddin bin Jum'at. Sarjana Falsafah Tafarwan bin Kasman Sarjana Falsafah Shaykh Kuzaifa bin Shaykh Hussein Sarjana Falsafah Muhammad Amin Fakir Muhyiddin Sarjana Falsafah Dukhat Sharif Zuda Sarjana Falsafah Kini kami akan mengumumkan nama-nama graduan yang dimulakan dengan mahasiswa cemerlang daripada setiap program Susana binti Selamat Sarjana Muda Syariah Perbandingan Mazhab Haida binti Uthman Sarjana Muda Syariah Perbandingan Mazhab Mamnun binti Sulhan Sarjana Muda Syariah Perbandingan Madhab Ramla binti Marju Sarjana Muda Syariah Perbandingan Madhab Zakia binti Abdul Razak Sarjana Muda Syariah Perbandingan Madhab Sarjana Muda Tafsir dan Hadis Dorisa binti Juli Sarjana Muda Tafsir dan Hadis Syaril bin Abu Bakar Sarjana Muda Tafsir dan Hadis Seterusnya, kami akan mengumumkan nama-nama graduan daripada program diploma. Berikut adalah nama-nama graduan serta jurusan mereka yang dimaksudkan. Program diploma. Diploma Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Lutfur Rahman bin Muhammad Faiz Marika. Diploma Bahasa Arab Abdullah Mustaqim bin Muhammad Faiz Marika Diploma Bahasa Arab Dina Marini binti Ahmad Sanusi Diploma Bahasa Arab Siti Nur Merlina binti Abdul Rahman Diploma Bahasa Arab Sumaya binti Muhammad Faiz Marika Diploma Bahasa Arab Yuan Nawawi bin Ramli Diploma Bahasa Arab Muhammad Ridwan bin Rashid Diploma Bahasa Arab Diploma Syariah Islamiyah Abdullah Rubil Diploma Syariah Islamiyah 
Ahmad Naufal bin Muhammad Saleh, diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Amirul Ashraf bin Azhar, diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Ilmi Hamida Sali, diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Fadila bin Abu Bakar, Diploma Syariah Islamiya. Hanis binti Rahman, Diploma Syariah Islamiya. Khansa Nur Shahida binti Muhammad Nuh, Diploma Syariah Islamiya. Muhammad Farhan bin Muhammad Shamsuddin, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Muhammad Akmal bin Muhammad Harith, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Muhammad Hasif Qasim, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Muhammad Saiful bin Muhammad Shawwal, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Muhammad Zul Haiman Zikri bin Ismail, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Muhammad Zul Qarnain Hafiz bin Ismail. Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Munira binti Ramli. Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Nabila binti Rahmat. Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Naomi Patricia binti Rizal. Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Nur wa Nayunis binti Muhammad Saifun atau Nur wa Nayunis binti Abdullah. Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Nur Umaira binti Amir. Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Nur Sabrina Inshira binti Shamsuri, Diploma Syariah Islamiya. Nurul Hani Muhammad Rosli, Diploma Syariah Islamiya. Rabi'atul Adawiyah Muhammad Dawood, Diploma Syariah Islamiya. Siti Humaira binti Jum'at, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Siti Maisara binti Jum'at, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Siti Suhaila binti Hamdan, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Shahida binti Husuhaini, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Tiara Sharafana binti Rizal, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Ummu Safiya binti Muhammad Amin, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Wendy bin Jum'at, Diploma Syariah Islamiyah. Yusuf bin Hamid, 
دبلوما شريعة إسلامية أحمد عز الدين بن عبد السلام دبلوما شريعة إسلامية عفة نظرة بنتي عثمان دبلوما شريعة إسلامية انشرة شرفنا بنتي محمد إقبال دبلوما شريعة إسلامية جولياني بنتي محمد أريبين دبلوما شريعة إسلامية ميسورة بنتي مرزوق دبلوما شريعة إسلامية محمد سيف النظام بن عبد الغفور دبلوما شريعة إسلامية محمد عفندي بن إبراهيم دبلوما شريعة إسلامية محمد فردوس بن عبد العزيز دبلوما شريعة إسلامية محمد مغفر بن محمد إدريس دبلوما شريعة إسلامية نادية كامسيا بنتي سوباري دبلوما شريعة إسلامية نصر الله بن محمد حسان دبلوما شريعة إسلامية نور هداية بنتي جنايدي دبلوما شريعة إسلامية نور إردنا بنتي إسكندر دبلوما شريعة إسلامية نور سويبا بنتي سعد دبلوما شريعة إسلامية نور العفيفة إسماعيل دبلوما شريعة إسلامية قرة العين بنتي سراج الدين دبلوما شريعة إسلامية روحيزة بنتي محمد فضل دبلوما شريعة إسلامية شريفة زونة بنتي سيد خالد دبلوما شريعة إسلامية سيتي زليخة بنتي شهر الدين دبلوما شريعة إسلامية زافرة بنتي عبد الله دبلوما شريعة إسلامية دبلوما تفسير دان حديث هاجي شهرون بن هاجي شهر دبلوما تفسير دان حديث سريمة بنتي كامل دبلوما تفسير دان حديث عبد الحامد بن أوام دبلوما تفسير دان حديث أحمد بن خميس دبلوما تفسير دان حديث محمد رازالي بن أوي دبلوما تفسير دان حديث محمد هداية الله بن محمد النظام دبلوما تفسير دان حديث محمد عمران بن كمسري دبلوما تفسير دان حديث 
بيبلوما معاملات سيتي نسرا دبلوما معاملات دالم اكاونتن ريبا اندرياني دبلوما معاملات جوميتي دبلوما معاملات ليلي سرولي دبلوما معاملات سيتي سولاستري دبلوما معاملات دالم ادمينستراتيف بروساهان اسيح دبلوما معاملات كيني كامي اكن مغومون كان نما نما جرادوان داري بادا بروغرام برا دبلوما بريكوت ادالا نما نما جرادوان serta jurusan mereka yang dimaksudkan pra diploma bahasa arab hidayah binti muhammad rashid pra diploma bahasa arab muhammad faris najib al khatib bin muhammad fahmi pra diploma bahasa arab Mumtaj, daughter of Abdul Ghafu, pra diploma Bahasa Arab. Nur Rauda binti Mazlan, pra diploma Bahasa Arab. Rahmatun Nisa, daughter of Muhammad Qasim. برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب شفيق أشراف بن شمس الدين برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب حمزة بن سوبعين برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب انديرا شيتا سياجين برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب محمد ذو الكفلي بن محمد ياسين برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب محمد سيفول بن ذاكر الدين برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب نبيلة بنتي بحار الدين برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب نور الأفيقة بنتي محمد علي برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب سلسبيلة بنتي عبد القادر برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب شيك عبد القاف بن جوهري برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب سيتي خديجة بنتي أزمان برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب يمني عين اليقين بنتي يسري برا دبلوما بحاسة عرب Seterusnya, kami akan mengumumkan nama-nama graduan daripada program Sijil. Berikut adalah nama-nama graduan serta jurusan mereka yang dimaksudkan. Sijil Pengajian Islam Liana Athirah binti Zainal Abidin Sijil Pengajian Islam Ahmad Faiz bin Muhammad Ibrahim Shah, Sijil Pengajian Islam. Aswadi 
bin Muhammad Nur Sijil Pengajian Islam Zulita binti Mad Ali Sijil Pengajian Islam Faris bin Muhammad Nur Sijil Pengajian Islam Filzah binti Ghazali Sijil Pengajian Islam Jannatul Fatima Sijil Pengajian Islam Jurida binti Jumani Sijil Pengajian Islam Juzaidi bin Karidi Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Arshad San Uf Haja Sheikh Alauddin Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Daniel Rahmat Sulaiman Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad ha Mujammil Hamid Shafiri bin Abdul Arif Sijil Pengajian Islam Nasreen Banu Daughter of Haja Sheikh Alauddin Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Siti Faiza binti Abdul Rahman Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Jihada binti Muhammad Nur Sijil Pengajian Islam Nurul Jannah binti Sirajuddin Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Amirah binti As'ad Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Atiqah binti Abdul Hamid Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Diana binti Samsuri Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Navora binti Mansur Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Nisha Begum Daughter of Muhammad Sultan Sijil Pengajian Islam Rosalima binti Tayyip Sijil Pengajian Islam Sharfun Nisa Daughter of A.P. Abdus Salam Sijil Pengajian Islam Sharifa Amna binti Sayyid Khalid Al-Sri Sijil Pengajian Islam Shazrin Izzati binti Riza Sijil Pengajian Islam Uruj Aman Sijil Pengajian Islam Ahmad Hilmi bin Muhammad Aris Sijil Pengajian Islam Ahmad Taqiyuddin bin Aziz Sijil Pengajian Islam Aidil bin Jasmin Sijil Pengajian Islam Alfiah Hasana Sijil Pengajian Islam 
Amshar Hanif bin Zainal Abidin Sijil Pengajian Islam Aniza Begum Sijil Pengajian Islam Dia Alisha binti Muhammad Arshad Sijil Pengajian Islam Fahmi bin Muhammad Nur Sijil Pengajian Islam Falila Farhana Sijil Pengajian Islam Ilyas bin Hussein Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Habibullah bin Uthman Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Haikal bin Jamaluddin Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Faizal bin Abdul Rahman Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Zaki bin Abdul Aziz Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Afiq bin Nazwin Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Ali bin Ali Uddin Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Amirul Adli bin Sayyid Ahmad Shah Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Asra bin Muhammad Amin Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Azhar bin Abdul Rahim Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Imran bin Zainal Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Nur Az'ari bin Qasim Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Salim bin Muhammad Saleh Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Shahid bin Abu Sijil Pengajian Islam Muhammad Shafiqin bin Uthman Sijil Pengajian Islam Nazreen binti Bulat Sijil Pengajian Islam Nazwin bin Sharfuddin Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Fadila binti Azman atau Gan Mi Chen Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Khairina binti Hussein Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Mashiqah binti Sudin Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Priyanti binti Jubri Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Rashida Binti Wasaini Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Sakina Binti Abu Sijil Pengajian Islam Nur Suaida Binti Sa'id Sijil Pengajian Islam 
Nur Sukaina binti Uthman. Sijil pengajian Islam. Nurul Afiqah binti Zabab. Sijil pengajian Islam. Putri Diana Natasha Sulaiman. Sijil pengajian Islam. Ridwan bin Abdullah. Sijil pengajian Islam. Sitiqa Begum, daughter of K.S. Abdul Qadir. Sijil pengajian Islam. Siti Jamila binti Hamza. Sijil pengajian Islam. Siti Haryani binti Bahrawi. Sijil pengajian Islam. Wan Nur bin Haji Ahmad Zahri. Sijil pengajian Islam. Zuliha Begum, daughter of Abdur Rashid. Sijil pengajian Islam. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Nur Raida Mardiya binti Abdul Raza. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Ilmi Hamida Sali. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Fitriya Santi. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Malik Abdul Qadir K.S. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Irfan bin Jum'at. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Muzammil bin Harun. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Rifdi Shabil bin Muhammad Nur Mazlan. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Mumtaj, daughter of Abdul Ghafu. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Nur Sia binti Muhammad Mu'idin Kutti, Sijil Bahasa Arab. Nurul Ain binti Mahfud, Sijil Bahasa Arab. Sharfun Nisa, daughter of A.P. Abdul Salam, Sijil Bahasa Arab. Shafiq Ashraf bin Shamsuddin. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Ahmad Shakir bin Husni. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Eha Juleha. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Fakhrullah bin Ramlan. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Hakan Siddiq Undi. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Hamza bin Supai. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Irfan Faris bin Khairul Anwa. Sijil Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Nur Ikhsan bin Muhammad Salim, Sijil Bahasa Arab. Muhammad Dhul Kifli bin Muhammad Yasin, Sijil Bahasa Arab. 
Muhammad Hamis Kabir bin Muhammad Shahul Hamid Malumia Sijil Bahasa Arab Muhammad Alif bin Ali Sijil Bahasa Arab Muhammad Rashidi bin Abdullah Sijil Bahasa Arab Muhammad Wafi bin Muhammad Amirul Sijil Bahasa Arab Nabilah binti Baharuddin Sijil Bahasa Arab Nadri Shah bin Akbar Hakim Sijil Bahasa Arab Nurwani binti Kutib Sijil Bahasa Arab Sheikh Abdul Alqaf bin Johari Sijil Bahasa Arab Siti Nur Aisha binti Sahud Sijil Bahasa Arab Wong Yen Fang Atau Nurin Wong Sijil Bahasa Arab Demikian surat keputusan ini dan tahniah kami ucapkan kepada para graduan. We have now come to the end of the graduation certificates presentation. Congratulations to all of our graduates and all the best in your future. We would like to also express our deepest appreciation to Dr. Saifuddin Amin and Ustad Sheikh Kuzaifa for the delivery of the conferment. Before we proceed to the next segment of our event, allow us to express our most gratitude once again to our distinguished guests of honor, the Honorable Sahib Samaha, Dr. Naziruddin bin Muhammad Nasir, Mufti of Republic of Singapore for his significant presence. Mufti will need, will need to take his leave now for other engagements. Thank you, Mufti, and may Allah bless you. And to proceed with our convocation ceremony, we would now like to invite the representative of the graduates, Ustad Majid, to deliver his speech. Ustad Majid, please. أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين. Dear distinguished guest of honor, Dr. Nasiruddin Muhammad Nasir, Mufti Republic of Singapore. The blessed Ustaz Muhammad Asir bin Azman, Chairman of Muhammad Islamic College, the Honorable Professor Dr. Hussein Mutalib. Academy Chairman of Muhammad Islamic College, members of the Board of Directors of the Muhammad Islamic College, Academy members of the Muhammad Islamic College, dear graduates and parents. Ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome all of you with a universal greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we are grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for His pleasure. We can get together and live on the seventh convocation ceremony, Muhammadiyah Islamic College. We also feel very fortunate to witness the blessed proclamations of Dr. Nasruddin Muhammad Nasir as the guest of honor in this glorious ceremony. I would like to thank Muhammadiyah Islamic College for giving me the opportunity to speak in this convocation ceremony on behalf of the graduates. We the masters, bachelors, and diploma graduates from various programs would like to express our gratitude to Muhammad Islamic College for providing us the opportunity to continue our education at the university level. It is adaptable learning system has allowed us to continue our education. 
without having to abandon our jobs or our families. Also, many thanks to our wonderful teachers who have greatly aided us in achieving our goals and desire of earning a degree. And of course, we owe a debt of gratitude to our beloved parents, our spouse and our children for their unwavering support as we pursue our aspirations. It would be unthinkable for us to be here today without their help and sacrifice. Dear audience, the experience of being a student for two to four years put our intellectual and patience to the test. The biggest issue is the lack of time, which is exacerbated by the fact that most of us are working and have families. It does not, however, impede our learning. Rather, it serves as a catalyst for us to continue to strive and accomplish. The bitter and the sweet experiences we had as the students will stay with us forever. Wow, this convocation even is a symbol of our valued graduate success. It does not mark the end of our effort or learning. In fact, it is the beginning of our efforts to improve ourselves, our community, and our beloved country. In this regard, again, we would like to express our gratitude to Muhammad Islamic College for all of its effort in providing the greatest possible education to its students, whether directly or indirectly. Most importantly, the dedications of the lecturers who work hard to ensure that students are directed and even given meaningful information, particularly in our beautiful country, Singapore. Hopefully, our friends will not miss out on this opportunity to further their educations. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad Islamic College is a vibrant institution with which we are happy to be linked as graduates. The dedications of the faculty and the leadership of the outstanding director, Muhammad Islamic College, will set the bar for other learning institutions in the region. As Muhammad Islamic College alumni, we will continue to support the institutions by sharing our experience with present and prospective students, we can make a difference. We believe that this learning approach is appropriate for working adults and Muhammad Islamic College is aware of our requirements. Dear audience, finally, we hope that Muhammad Islamic College will continue to work towards democratizations of higher education. In this era of globalization, Muhammad Islamic College should continue to create great graduates, professionals, and thinkers in all sectors to help the country progress. Once again, on behalf of our students, I would like to express my thanks to the most blessed chairman, academy chairman, consultant, director, and his administrations, lecturers, and support personnel who have always gone above and beyond to ensure our success. Not to be forgotten, and heartful thank to all of the family members who came from all walks of life to witness and celebrate this momentous occasion. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless Muhammadiyah Islamic College to prosper and grow in the new future. Ameen, ameen, ya rabbal alameen. Wallahu ala bis sawab. Wa billahi tawfi wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you, Ustad Majid, for your speech. We now welcome Brother Wandi, Sharia Diploma graduate, to lead in the reading of the Pledge of the Alumni of Muhammadiyah Islamic College. Brother Wandi, please. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ikrar College Islam Muhammadiyah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Kami. Lulusan Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah dengan ini berjanji dengan sepenuh hati. Pertama, mengabdikan diri bagi kepentingan agama, nusa dan bangsa. Kedua, bersedia mengembangkan dan mengamalkan ilmu pengetahuan serta menjunjung tinggi sikap profesional. Ketiga, Tetap menjunjung tinggi 
dan menjaga nama baik Kolej Islam Muhammadiyah. Terakhir, sesungguhnya salatku, usahaku, hidupku dan matiku hanya untuk Allah semata. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Brother Wendy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the tail end of the ceremony. I would now like to invite the Honorable President of Muhammadiyah Association, come Chairman of Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Ustaz Muhammad Azri bin Azman, to deliver the closing address. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahu wa wala. Our guest of honor, Mufti of Singapore, Sahibu Samaha, Dr. Naziruddin Muhammad Nasir, Muhammadiyah Islamic College, Academic Advisor, Prof. Hussein Mutalib, Director, Mr. Sazali Wahid, our Dean, Dr. Saifuddin Amin, and partners from University Technology Malaysia, University Muhammadiyah Malang, and also University Islam Negeri Imam Bonjol. To all our Muhammadiyah Islamic College graduates, again, Mubarak and congratulations. Today is the day of joy and fulfillment, a day worth celebrating after putting your effort and sacrifices throughout your course of study. But I would like you to realize your destiny is not been fulfilled yet. The journey has actually just begun. The knowledge we attain is not a symbol of pride it actually becomes an amana and responsibility for us to achieve taqwa by being intellectually, emotionally, and spiritually close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to bring benefit to humankind as how Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was sent as a rahmah to all beings. And only then, our destiny will be fulfilled with Allah's reda and true success in the afterlife, inshallah. My appreciation to our Muhammadiyah Islamic College team, management committee, director, dean, faculty members, administrative staff for their hard work and sincere intent in providing the best learning environment for our students. Also, to Muhammadiyah's past president, Ustaz Sheikh Hussein Shiaqob, a person responsible to achieve what some people think as impossible, that is to establish an Islamic college in this beautiful country of Singapore. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Lastly, to our guest of honor, Sahibu Samaha, Dr. Naziruddin Muhammad Nasir, for his word of wisdom and for his worthy time that he provided for us today. Jazakallahu khair mufti. To end my speech, I would like to advise myself and everyone to continue to seek knowledge, search for the truth, be purposeful, but at the same time, remain kind, humble, and beneficial. Wa billahi tawfiq wal hidayah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you, Ustaz Azri, for that moving speech. Dear graduates, allow me to now close with the words of the late journalist Tom Brokaw. You are educated. Your certification is in your degree. You must think of it as a ticket to the good life. 
But let me ask you to think of an alternative. Think of it as your ticket to change the world. So go forth, leap in bounds, fly across the barriers for your future is what you choose to make of it. Alhamdulillah. And with that, the seventh Muhammadiyah Islamic College convocation ceremony is now complete. Before I officially close this event, allow me to dedicate a Malay poem. Bunga dedap di atas para anak dusun pasang pelita. Kalau tersilap tutur bicara, jemari disusun maaf dipinta. Pohon berangan tempat bertemu, girangnya rasa si anak dara. Baliklah tuan membawa ilmu, binalah bangsa bangunkan negara. Terima kasih sekalung budi daripada kami seikhlas hati. Let us close our convocation ceremony with kafaratul majlis. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaih. And with that, wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.
Mm-hmm.